Hey everybody, so today is day 12 of Vlogmas, and today's question is uh, what is vegan and intersectionality or an intersectional vegan? And first you would have to know kind of both of them to understand what they mean together. Veganism basically essentially focuses on the rights of non-human animals, while intersectionality actually um, understands and fully brings out the fact that all forms of oppression are interconnected from racism, ableism, speciesism, classism, all of them are interconnected. And as I said, I'll probably put some links down below for much more expanded information on this because these videos, I've seen videos of these, I could go on and on and there's channels dedicated to this. Um, not every vegan understands intersectionality and also not every intersec intersectional activist or someone who follows intersectionality follows veganism. They're not actually connected, even though technically they should be. Um, where veganism would fall into this would basically be uh, speciesism, because we believe um, that you know, animals should not be harmed or be used, and also the whole fact that where we treat dogs differently, uh, well, in certain countries, I shouldn't say we in general, but um, for example, in the United States, we put dogs higher on the pedestal than a cricket, for example. Um, but when you interconnect them together, uh, I mean, it, basically, you have... Sorry, the dogs are barking. It just, like, threw me over for a second. You basically understand that you may have certain privileges. So, certain privileges within your... The way you are doing veganism. So, for example, um, there are a lot of vegans out there who tell everybody how easy it is to be vegan. It can be easy to be vegan in certain areas, I agree. Um... And it could be just a lack of education in the people in those areas. However, even within those areas, if they can't afford the food, uh, it's not easy. Or if they're in areas that maybe it is harder. And there is a lot more to this, of course. I, I literally can go on and on for this. But the point is to always have that in mind. You can't just do blanket statements. Um, the other issue is, oh, for example, PETA. I am not... A PETA fan. I may share some links because they do have some links that are helpful, especially with how to order like food at Taco Bell or something like that. Um, however, in a lot of their marketing, they're pretty sexist because they use a lot of either the female form or focusing on that in some sort of way or when, you know, there's other ways to go about it. Um, there's a lot of animal rights groups that when they do some displays they tend to use females basically not wearing much clothes and it's you, you rarely see a male there so there's a lot of different aspects in the veganism movement itself that can be very sexist very classist very like completely ignorant to the fact that you basically you can't throw rocks at each other you have to make sure you're all on the same page and it ha you have to go through together. You can't make black blanket statements, as I said before, um, because a lot of people don't realize when when you're telling somebody that they can get food easily, they might be in an area that has a food desert, and food deserts do, in fact, exist in America. I know some people don't realize that because they might be in their little privilege bubble, but they don't realize that. And start breaking down the barriers so they realize you know, how they speak to people, how they um, connect veganism and another, um, another type of oppression when they, for, sorry if you hear my dad yelling, the dogs are going crazy. Um, when you connect, try to connect one thing to another, comparing them in a very negative way or there is so much work to be done here basically. And for myself personally, I... I know for a fact that there's so much work to be done because there's so many things that have been ingrained in me. There's so many things that media pushes that you think is okay and then you say it and you're like, wait, that probably wasn't a good thing to say. I probably still do it in my videos. There is so much work to be done. So I'm going to post 
some information below. Um, I do try my hardest and I do try to check myself in things that I do and things that I say and how I'm educating people about veganism because I'm trying to make sure that they're connecting everything together. There are so many, it's like an entire web of how it's connected, um, how it's either connected for the positive side and how it's connected on how people are basically um, pushing one oppression down for another. So they would focus only on animals and completely ignore the fact that the way that they are putting that out there is also oppressive. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll grab some links and put them down below. If I forget, I'll try to add them later. Um, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not sure what question I'm going to answer tomorrow. I'm not going to promise anything right now because I might just grab a question and go. You might see me doing it in the car. I don't know. Um, and if anybody's wondering, I had one person ask, they're like, you don't, you didn't wear that today because they saw me in person. I'm recording them the day before. Um, just because I post them at 8, and if you know me, I don't wake up that early unless I really have to. Um, so they're posted automatically, so technically right now, it's December 11th. Technically it's Monday at 8.15pm. It's going to be posted tomorrow, December 12th at 8am. So I'm kind of doing it the day before so I can not lose my mind, pretty much. <laughs> um... So if you have any questions on this, I can try to answer. I still personally have a lot of work to do on this and a lot of homework to do on this, but I did it did I did come across it. I don't know what I was gonna say. I did come across it um a few months ago, so it wasn't my entire vegan journey. I, I know I probably said some things and I probably still do things slip out of my mouth. And you know, we're all working. So if you're a brand new vegan and you're really interested in this, go right ahead. If you're not a brand new vegan, but you're kind of interested, go ahead, learn about it. At the very least, open your mind. Always open your mind, open your heart and learn something new. I'll see you tomorrow.